For us time travelers, with permission to play her early, Wanda the Timekeeper is out now as we speak, everyone. But with her overall overview already behind us here, it's time to simply have some stupid, ever-escalating fun. And who will be helping us with all that fun, you ask? Well, none other than our good friend Warley, of course, the support class extraordinaire. Now, we have done but two of these videos ever, as it's not really easy finding survivors so well suited to one another that one practically negates every single downside of the other. But with Wanda here, Warley's gonna potentially save her life. Literally. If you see, even with the damage numbers in the thumbnail being very likely what brought you here, we'll be starting with how Wanda can be made to age ever slower, even when she's taking ever higher damages. As we know, any health damage equates to a rise in years for Wanda. And even a basic spider with its 20 damage a munch will be aging her by 8 years each bite. But what if we could reduce some of that incoming damage beyond simple armors? What if Warley here could create a special spice that absorbs 33% of the damage we take for half a day? Well, he can, and it is obviously very effective. Even one bite of a garlicky food will take a spider's damage from 20 per hit to a mere 13.3. Good stuff, and we are unarmored, mind you. So the question is this, does this effect translate to hits taken by Wanda? And the answer is yes. Yes it does. With garlic in play, a hit from a spider will now result in 5 years being added to our lives instead of 8, which doesn't seem too great either, and we'll catch up to you. But remember now, we're still without any armor here. So toss on a basic one armor, and suddenly our years will be rising by barely one and a half points each hit. Get even a little fancy with it, and heck, each hit will barely scratch a quarter of a year in age. Very nice. And besides, you shouldn't even be taking hits like this as Wanda anyways. I'm just here to show you that if you are one to kite poorly, then don't forget the armor. But if you're one to not kite at all, then look no further than an armor and garlic combo. As yes, even bosses like Berger will struggle to age Wanda quickly. Now she's supposed to be a glass cannon, so I highly advise that you don't even play like this at all. But hey, you do you, and it shows the synergy of Warley and Wanda, and that's a whole freaking point. But yes, the real reason why most of you are here today is because of that potential of a glass cannon. So enough faffing about, let's reach stupidly high damage levels, yes. To set the foundation of what's to come, especially for those of you who maybe haven't seen anything on Wanda yet, let's highlight how while Wanda will be dealing half damage with everything that isn't a shadow weapon come her time as a granny, she'll be dealing 75% more damage with all shadow weapons at that age at the end of the day. Hence why, glass cannon. Couple this mechanic with a dark sword for fantastic results already. Ready. However, toss in her new alarming clock here, and her base damage will be sitting pretty solid at 142 damage a hit. Levels that could already be considered rather high, and we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. But with her foundation as a glass cannon laid, it is time to start escalating things to surprisingly practical, yet still totally nonsensical levels. And Warley here will be coming in handy once again via his Chili Flakes recipe and its ability to raise the damage levels of anyone who eats a spiced food by 20% for half a day. Seriously, there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Eat a chili spice food as any character, and enjoy a solid 20% damage increase instantly. Great stuff. But what does this mean for Wanda here, you ask? Specifically Granny Wanda, of course. Well, it means her base damage with a dark sword is now going to be 142 a slice, while her alarming clock raises that to 171 respectively. So yeah. Expect only alarming clocks from here on out, pretty much. And by the way, even with what you're about to see for the rest of this video, don't discount using one of these alarming clocks with spices and no old age anyways, as even a young Wanda will be dealing just under 100 damage per swing, with middle-aged Wanda here enjoying being the Master Chief at 117 damage a hit. You don't always have to risk it for a biscuit. But you know what? I will be risking anything for this stuff. Folks, it's time. 
Vault Goat Jelly Time. A legendary dish that is now easier than ever to mass produce, mind you. It's gonna be our ticket to the next level of damage dealing via its electrical damage properties, of course. Volt Goat Jod Freud gives us a 50% boost to our damage output, which already trumps anything we just did with them chili flakes at the end of the day. Use these properties against a wet world too, and suddenly you will be benefiting from a 150% increase in damages instead, and then you'll really be starting to slay everything in seconds. So then. How does all this translate to our new friend? Well, with a jelly consumed and no wet enemies in sight, even a young Wanda will be starting this out at 122 damage a whipping. Work through the woes of the ripe age of 35 and over to enjoy 146 damage per hit on a non-wet foe. And finally, obtain granny status for a casual 214 damage with every use of an alarming clock. A weapon that never breaks and can be refueled with nightmare fuel in case you've forgotten about that. But hold your horses for one second, folks. That was with non-wet mobs. Tussle with wet mobs with the jelly in play, and young Wanda will deal a whopping 204 damage per swing. Middle-aged Wanda will be boasting about her 244 damage per hit. And finally, this frailed old granny will blow everything out of the water with a casual 357 damage per smack. Insane. And we aren't even done yet. For you see, what if we could combine the two? What if the powers of both Chili Flakes and Voltco Jelly decided to work together to become the ultimate powerhouse food? Well, they can, and it's as insane as you would imagine. Even on non-wet enemies, a basic spear will be dealing 61.2 damage overall with this stuff in play. But use it all on a wet enemy, and that will skyrocket to 102 damage per hit. A basic spear, everyone. A basic spear dealing 102 damage. So yes, the final question is at hand. How is Wanda after munching on this spicy goat jelly? Well, ridiculous is probably the word I'd use in this case. A young Wanda with no wet enemy in sight will already be sitting at 146 damage a strike as you can see. A middle-aged Wanda in a dry world will up things to 176 damage per hit there. And finally, Granny will enjoy dealing 257 damage to even non-wet enemies. Craziness. But to wrap up the day officially, here's the official craziness. Young Wanda will already be just shy of the previous damage levels against wet enemies as she will be dealing 244 damage per hit. Middle-aged Wanda will be resting just under 300 damage per use of her alarming clock as seen here. And finally, a spiced up Volt Goat Chewing Wet Granny will be bringing down the house with her 428 damage per swing. Please, allow me to say that once more in case you didn't hear me. 428 damage each and every swing, folks. Holy frickin' moly. But hold up, Beardo's a dum dum, and almost forgot about the cherry on top of it all, folks. The Enlightened Crown dropped by the Celestial Champion. As we know, this thing, at the cost of sanity of course, is going to be spawning some additional guest alts that deal 42.5 damage each hit. So if we add that to the hits that we are doing, instead of 428 damage, our granny will be dealing 470.5 damage per hit. And I think this footage speaks for itself. Three tree guardians, over 2,000 health each, all dead within 25 seconds. Yeah, she has potential. Folks, I'm not really sure what more to say following all of that, and I guess the only thing that's on my mind at this point is the fact that I'm excited to showcase six grannies against a wet misery toadstool someday. So keep your eyes open for that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Well wishes to all. Remember that this all is subject to change as she's still in early access, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.